So it looks like the rumors were true. We got uh, Paul Scholes, Batistuta, and Van der Vert. So let's take a look at them. So the leaks were saying that Scholes was an attacking midfielder because it's supposed to be a, uh, I think it's national team attackers pack. Yeah, national attackers. So Scholes is usually like a box to box or an orchestrator. This one's an AMF. So that is surprising. Uh, not surprising, sorry. It's a bit different. You, I would say in my head, he'd be best as a center mid with a little bit like 70 defending. You put interception on him. But he definitely looks like an attacker here. And he has 85 finishing off the start. Crazy. And his booster is into drib dribbling. And he can play left mid with 90 kicking power. Okay. Uh, first look, he looks decent. Uh, I don't know. Uh, his curl's a bit low. That's a bit disappointing for the knock-on finesse. Uh, in terms of his skills, he does not have soul control. And he does not have uh, not, uh, long range curler. So it doesn't look like he should be doing knock-on finesses. Um, just a normal knock on shot though would work very well. I scored an insane goal with uh Modric earlier. Let me get the uh clip for you. So I scored this insane knock on normal shot, no knock on finesse with Modric. Look at that. I got, I had no business scoring that goal. So it looks like based on the cards, uh, the stats on skulls, that's the type of shot you'll be uh looking to go, uh, with them. Uh, so in terms of that, skulls might be decent. In terms of his other skills, uh, he has heading. He must have scored a header in this game, obviously, before my time. Uh, first touch, one touch pass. Uh, why doesn't he have true passing? Nami, why doesn't Paul Scholes have true passing? He's one of the best passers of all time. That's not an insane statement, is it? I think Paul Scholes is like a really good passer. Why doesn't he have passing? <laughs> oh... Konami, it's like sometimes you just get the skills wrong. That's such a shame. Like obviously you can put it on, but true passing is such an important skill that you should really be putting it on all your players. So to have to put it on someone like Skulls is, is shocking in my opinion. Um, you know, like the the cards looked okay, it looked pretty good before, but without true passing, I don't know. That that's a little bit disheartening. All right. Um, in terms of Batistuta. He's a goal poacher, so I think people are wondering if he'd be a fox in the box or a goal poacher. Um, I'd say goal poacher is better overall, uh, more versatile. I mean, fox in the box can be better if you're able to integrate it into your tactics. So, but I do think uh, as a goal poacher, he'll be more well rounded. His booster is into ball control, finishing, physical, and kicking. So that's just good for a striker. That's probably the most important stats for the type of player Batistuta is. In terms of his skills, he has cut behind and turn, acrobatic finishing, that's important, long range shooting, important, first time shot, one touch pass, rising shot, knuckle shot, uh, chip shot. Okay, so he doesn't have true passing. I mean, you're going to want to put it on him, but it's, uh, you know, you wouldn't expect to have to put it on, uh, or you wouldn't expect him to start with it, really. Um, you probably do an aerial superiority. His jump in 70, it's probably worth it. He's not going to be, you know, dominant in the air, but uh, it's definitely probably worth a shout um he doesn't have fighting spirit maybe put that on uh the rising shot will be very good with someone like him um yeah he looks he looks decent van der vaart he's a creative playmaker on the left he's got really good kicking power and curl and he has very high weak foot okay so he might be like snyder really good with the knock-on finesse but he might have the problem that the netherlands snyder had where they where he has um outside curler, especially considering Van der Vaart's a left footed player and who can only play on the left. I mean he can play AMF, but if you want to play him on the left, if he has the outside curler, it ruins the knock on finesse. Let's check if he has it. And he has it. All right. <laughs> you know, some people uh, when the, like I think I'm one of the few people who doesn't like outside curler on players with very high weak foot. Um most people probably look at that outside curler and think it's a benefit. For me it's it's a negative he I think a player who's Got that insane kick and power and insane curl does not need outside curler. Um that's that's pretty disappointing in that regard. His boost is to ball control driven type possession and low pass, so similar to skulls. Uh he'll be good at passing because his kick and power is high, so skulls, same uh same idea. Um he actually does have good stats, to be fair. Um he's not fast, he's not gonna be like he's not gonna be really much of a winger. I would play him uh AMF more but that outside curler for me it's a problem probably most of these would rather have the outside curler considering he's left footed on the left but uh 
that for me it's definitely uh not ideal uh in terms of the other players in the pack uh kdb um he looks like a normal kdb he's actually not that slow i think usually kdb is slower than that so he looks uh pretty decent uh kulisevsky this guy is a gem he plays better than the stats if any of you have ever used him before uh you know when you do a finesse shot with him he has like the it's like the i don't know what to call it other than like the high rated animation for finesse shot and uh, messi does them salah does them basically any high rated player that would be good at finesse shots in real life kind of curls the ball different collects with the ball different kulisevsky does it as well so uh he's actually pretty good so if you do spin this pack um give him a try uh sane um see he's really good at the knock-on finesse because he has high curl and high kick compare it's not an issue for him though because he can play right wing so if you play him right wing it's not going to be an issue um and he has he has a uh, medium weak foot accuracy so you're gonna want to be playing him on the right play him like if you play him on the left you're not going to be cutting inside the shoot uh because his weak foot isn't good so you know him having outside curler is good but not uh what was Skulls' weak foot? Only high. Um, okay. Uh, and then Van der Vaart's... Or what was Batasutas? High. Okay. So it's only um, Van der Vaart with very high. And the outside curler uh, is a bit annoying there. So yeah, Sané is decent. Um, do the knock-on finish. Uh, Schick as a deep line forward. So a physical deep line forward with pretty good skills, actually. Um, he's missing acrobatic finishing and true passing, but he's got pretty much every other skill you would want maybe a double touch but uh he is an interesting card like most deep line forwards in the game uh or than benzema are like kind of more technical dribblers but benzema is actually like that a little bit as well he's a bit of a hybrid Gonzalo, um not great skills he is interesting i guess maybe the defensive engagement and the aggression maybe if you get him it might be worth uh, training him a little bit into defending and using them to hold on to a lead uh he doesn't have aerials priority either so um because of that he might not be uh not the best uh almiron uh he's just fast good skills well decent skills um medium weak foot not the best but uh he is missing like a double touch or a marseille turn that kind of be able to beat the man um and he doesn't have pinpoint crossing either so he's not the greatest Ferrari uh he's just more of a well-rounded shooter finisher um i wouldn't be too interested in him myself malin should be like a fast finisher uh okay his tight possession is a bit low bit of an issue if you're playing him on the wing um he's got a high weak foot but yeah he's got super sub so you know what that that, that super sub boost should help uh he's got acrobatic finishing first time shot double touch marseille turn and cut behind the turn yeah uh, he, he might be all right shame is that he doesn't play like it's a national team version it's not a club version you can't use them to help you in events and then that's all the special players okay so here's skulls is the uh, stats so he has 35 levels these are with the plus two game plan boost if your manager is proficient but uh it doesn't have the booster so the booster stats are to these four here uh dribbling the dribbling stats and the low pass so there's going to be an extra plus two on all these so these this is his auto allocate um it's immediately you can see it, look, it does look very nice i would change the build a little bit so i would go to this uh nine dribbling it'll give him 90 pass uh, 90 ball control and 90 tight possession Um, i would take off a little bit of the passing so that's 90 low pass i'd go into shooting at 95 finishing and uh, it's made it was mainly to get the curl there first to 80 but uh, 95 finishing is 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 really good i don't think you get you can get much uh notice much difference between 95 and like 98 i have tried a build of david via with 101 finishing so if you want to see that uh let me know i'll uh, make a video on it in terms of his other stats um his kick and power is going to be capped at 99 because there's boosters on the dribbling so i would just get it to 99 and then the stamina works out uh, actually pretty well uh there so you can get that um if you look at his dexterity, he's close to 90 acceleration and 90, or sorry, 80 offensive awareness. So I would invest into dexterity to get those. And then you have a few points left. Um, it depends on how you want to play them. Um, if you're playing a AMF, you probably would go into physical, get his physical contact up. So if you're driving with him, uh, you can get in 
uh, through the defender as well, and then you have an extra point to probably just put in the defending, or you could even put it into uh, goalkeeper one to get the jumping up extra point. Um, if you want to use them more as a left mid or a center uh, mid, instead of going into the physical, you can go into the defending. Um, it's not going to make them great. Um, actually, if you go for defending, oh, why does that 67 go to 69? Um, we go three defending then and two physical. Sorry, four. Yeah, four defending. But then you're at sixty nine aggression. Hmm. I don't know. It's it's a it's interesting because you can play AMF, CMF, and BMF and left mid. So it depends. You want to give them interception to make them uh a bit more of a center center mid, or do you want to just focus entirely and make them a camp? Uh, if you're going for that, I would definitely just go into the um, into the physical. Probably take one off and then go back into maybe passing or yeah, uh, a bit more in dribbling. Uh, all right, one sec. Passing. So you can go into passing and then you still have the one point. Maybe maybe just throw it into defending. But yeah, he does. Uh, he does look pretty interesting. I would go something with this like this build. Um. I would definitely say the non-negotiables are the shooting, uh, the dribbling, dexterity, and the passing. Maybe you think you only need um, 96 kick and power, get the 80 speed, and then you can have more versatility uh, elsewhere. You could get um, his defending up and this physical, or you could just go further into the physical. Uh, it's up to you. Honestly, he looks really good. Um, probably the best player in the pack. I haven't looked at the other guy's stats yet in-game. But uh, yeah, he looks impressive. Shame I really don't have an interest in the other guys because uh, I would actually like to have my hands on this Paul Scholes. So now we'll look at Van der Vaart. So Van der Vaart was the same as Scholes. His booster was on tight possession, ball control, dribbling and low pass. And he has 30 levels. So when eFootball Hub don't have the levels updated, you can actually just put levels in yourself. And it'll give you uh, stats. So... Uh, sorry, I didn't have the screen up yet. So you can just click here and you can type in the custom levels. And so he has 30 levels. So this is the same situation. It doesn't have the plus two on top of the uh, of the um, the booster stats. So look, um, when it starts off, it's on 79. It's on 79 now. This is with the booster, 81. So yeah, it doesn't have the booster. So his auto allocate, uh, he looks pretty impressive. Um... I did say yeah, the outside curler kind of made them uh, a problem. It, do you know what? With those stats, though, with those stats, I could see myself working around it. If you play him AMF, it's not going to be a problem. You're going to be able to play him as a right-sided AMF and have him cut in. It was only if you were going to play him left wing or left mid. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, if you do are someone who does knock-on finesses. If you're someone who doesn't do knock-on finesses, it's nothing to worry about. Okay, in terms of his build, would I change anything? Um... So that's going to have 97 tie possession at the moment. Well, just I like to, when I'm building my players, just uh, kind of first start off, like, okay, tight, 90 tie possession, let's start there and uh, work our way around that. So get yeah, his acceleration to 90, I would say. Um, his finishing could go up. Mm, we can't get it to 90. So 84 is a good number for me. And you know what? 84 finishing with 95 kick and power and 95 curl, he's going to feel really clinical. So uh, don't worry about the low finishing at the moment. In terms of his passing, his lofted pass is a lot higher than his low pass. I find myself doing low passes and relying on low passes a lot more. So that high lofted pass isn't too interesting to me. Um, I think I would then go into the dribbling, get that to 90 ball control. Let me take the pass now for a sec. So oh, he actually has decent physicals, so he can get 70 physical contact. Um and his defending isn't actually his defending isn't too bad. It looks actually better than Paul Scholes is from the start. Um but he's not able to play centre mid properly only half, so I probably wouldn't invest in the defending. Uh, if you're playing a 4 4 2, maybe you want them uh, to have some uh, defending. But you're gonna struggle to get him to 90 uh low pass. Well, he's on 89 there, so it's not too bad. I guess you could take try take a point somewhere else. If you took it from... Could take it from shooting. 
but then you're missing out on 95 curl i feel like 95 would be different than 94 look it off lower body you're missing out on 80 speed and 95 kick on power take it from dexterity you're missing out on 90 acceleration take it from dribbling uh you're missing out on the 90 yeah ball control yeah so i'd go probably i'd probably go something like this it's a shame is low pass won't get a 90 but you know you're getting a lot of stats at the high uh threshold um then batastuta let's take a look at him so batastuta has 31 levels and his boost is to ball control finishing kick and power and physical so he had what was it 32 levels 31 levels okay good thing i checked again <laughs> so 31 levels uh max level uh, with the boost so we're missing two ball control two finishing two kick and power and two physical okay so you would have 80 ball control there 93 finishing uh 94 kick and power and 81 physical first off let me just get the physical down one so we have 80 physical at the moment um dexterity take that down all the way just for a moment uh we'll get 90 kick and power there um he has 80 curl so we'll leave that there we'll take the passing off for a sec and okay the 80 ball control okay so his dribbling okay so his tight possession and ball control they're they're important for center forwards dribbling isn't that important because it's how fast you are when you run with the ball uh, i talk about this in my training guide training guide sorry if you haven't seen that uh, i talk about every position as well so it'll give you an in-depth uh, explanation it will be useful if you play a true ball you get you get by the defender and you're trying to run in on goal and um, he is quite fast so that actually might happen so maybe it would be important uh, a wise investment to get that dribbling up to 80 um so if you go into his speed so he actually starts off pretty fast um get into 85 speed you'll have 92 kick and power uh dexterity get that to at least 80 um but then you want to get those 90 is offensive awareness to 90. might be able to you might be able to johnny just sent me a message on discord saying the best card in the pack you probably can hear it uh yeah he's uh, me. I, I think i agree i think i agree um 85 acceleration you want to get it to 80 balance okay without well, getting the 80 balance also gets into 95 offensive awareness so uh that's actually um pretty good uh still have five points probably go into speed maybe yeah make them fast so usually i recommend more acceleration on um forward and less speed but for Haaland, i put more speed on and for batistuta i think i'd do the same thing because it's the kick and parry you're looking for you're relying on his finishing you're not actually leveling the speed to make him fast you're more doing it to get the kick and power up and then that extra point can go into uh, aerial strength i guess um in terms of other builds uh If you did a build, see, I think you want the 80 physical. Could do a build with less dribbling, I guess. Or let, we could do an 8, uh, no more than 8 build. So if we go 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. So yeah, that build, so it'll have 84 ball control, 92 finishing, 94 kick and power, and 85 physical. Okay, that's a bit more well-rounded. So yeah, the previous build I had, or this build, I'd say, the 8, 8, 8 build uh looks good in terms of the skills i put on them so i already touched on it a little bit but um in terms of skulls yeah he needs true passing obviously um probably needs soul control so you can do that moderate shot i showed um he has weighted pass intercept i guess interception uh gamesmanship actually pretty nimble um yeah i don't think he needs too many skills to be honest uh I can't think of anything else he would need actually a double touch he needs he needs a double touch of scissors faint at marseille turn something to help him beat uh, a defender and get a shot off that 95 finishing in that build i showed off uh did look very nice in terms of batistuta skills uh, i said he needed aerial strength and true passing uh yeah that's probably mainly what he needs uh long range curl won't be too important on him he doesn't have a high curl um he could do with a double touch or something just to help him beat the man um 
and a heal trick. I like heal trick on my attackers like this, so you can use them as an outlet, pass it up to them. So use the physical, hold off the defender, and then uh, flick a ball onto someone. Then Van der Vaart, we won't be able to take off the outside curler, but we could um, put a double touch on him, I guess. A... Oh, he's got good skills, so you wouldn't need to be putting too much on him. Uh, it might be smart to put a rising shot on him uh, for the stunning shots. He's already got a stunning shot. Uh, he's already got a dipping shot for the stunning shots. Um, what else could he do with uh, He's got good skills as well. I don't think he needs too much. Like I'm, I'm trying to think about skills jump out to me. Maybe gamesmanship, uh, and skulls will probably be the same. A bit nimble and small. He could do a gamesmanship. Um, like I guess if you're stuck for skills, just put fighting spirit on all the players. That's usually a, a skill that can go on anyone. But yeah, that um, that's the overview of the pack. I don't know if I'll be doing a review of the players. I don't think I'll get my hands on these guys. Uh, skulls. Looks very good, but if he came out, if it was a pack with Skulls, Lampard, and Gerard, I would have spun. But you know, Konami need to stick to a team, in my opinion, like a not a club team, like a topic. They should have done the three English midfielders everyone debates about. That would have been uh, more entertaining for me. I would probably would have spun it. You know, get yourself three really good midfielders. So uh, yeah, I probably won't be getting my hands on these. Um, let me just do a ten player. Oh, I can't do a ten player. Let me do one player. I'm not, uh, that's a sign for me not to spin, to be honest. Uh, I don't know if I got one. This flare always, uh, always throws me off. Did I get one? No, didn't get one. Alright, I'm not going to be spinning for them. Um, I just decided to waste, uh, 100 coins. Let me just check the, um, let me just check the events. Not that it's a, a big deal. And see what events we got. So we got national teams, I assume, yeah, national teams, and, uh, yeah, just national teams, uh, AI and uh, online, so that's a skill trainer, and this one's going to be three skill trainers and uh, 50 coins. So yeah, um, if you um, want um, any other videos, I probably won't be doing a review on these guys, it's probably not worth the money. Overall thoughts are, probably don't spin, unless Batistuta is one of your favourite players, or Paul Scholes is one of your favourite players. Uh, they do look pretty good. You know, if I was a Paul Scholes, one of my favorite players, I'd probably be happy, except for that true pass, and we can obviously put the skill on. And Batistuta does look like a striker that could compete uh, with other. Uh, would be good as Rumi, wouldn't be as good for Mario, but, you know, he'd be, he'd be able to uh, keep up with the rest of the pack. So, yeah, that's the uh, end of the video. So, if you want any other videos, uh, let me know in the comments. I appreciate the feedback. Yeah, thank you. Bye.